class so in this video tutorial we're going to be talking about the key concepts of density and specific gravity okay now density specific gravity real important for you as pharmacists the reason being more often than not you have pharmaceutical formulas and often than not um, you have the ingredients given to you by weight when in fact indeed it could be a liquid and so you actually need to measure out the volume so is the density equation or the density relation which tells us that density is equal to mass divided by volume that helps you connect um, this information because you'll be given the density you'll be given the mass you can easily compute the volume sometimes it's even the reverse you have volume but you need to weigh out the liquid or something of that nature so it really comes in handy and the key thing is to know how to manipulate it or utilize it okay so oftentimes we talk about the density triangle it's just a useful way or an alternative to really memorizing how the equation works if you can't simply memorize the formula so what it is is if you wanted the density for example it will be the mass because it's divided by the green line there it will be mass divided by volume if you needed the mass you just um, keep your hand on the m and then mass will be equal to the density times the volume in the bottom there. If you need that volume, it's going to be mass divided by the density. So that's how the triangle works, just as a useful aid if you can't remember the equation. Okay. The other thing that I also need to know is the specific gravity, which is basically the ratio of the density of a substance to density of water. Because more frequently than not, what typically happens is we tend um, to see on the bottles or on your MSDS information about specific gravity and from there it's expected that you should be able to know what the density is and from the density know what the mass or volume is okay so kind of like you need to know how these things are connected you should be able to know how specific gravity is connected to density and it's simply the fact that you multiply the specific gravity by the density of water which by the way is one gram per ml and then also you should know how to connect the density information to mass and volume so i guess what i'm trying to let you really see more clearly is if you're given the specific gravity you basically have enough information to give you the volume or the mass if you know either of them okay so you should be able to make that connection between specific gravity and mass and we'll take a look at some examples that illustrate that okay a similar triangle here if you needed the density of your substance it will be the specific gravity at the bottom there multiplied by the density of water if you needed the density of the um, if you need a specific gravity it will be the density of the substance at the top there divided by the density of water okay and if you needed the density of water if you didn't know it which by the way is one gram per ml you could do density of substance divided by specific gravity so let's look at an, at an example. Here you have, it's giving you the mass, 25 grams of olive oil. And you are basically supposed to determine the volume here. Okay, so you have weight, but you need volume. Because olive oil actually is a liquid, right? So let's see how that works. We have our relation, which says density is equal to mass divided by volume. We substitute in the information. And we solve for x and basically it's simply going to be 27.47 ml so quite easily done and whenever you have an equation like this it has three terms in it so given any two of them you should be able to determine what the other is so if you had mass and volume you can determine density if you have density and volume you can determine mass and if you have density and mass you can determine volume in this example we had density and mass so we can determine volume okay here's another example you have a prescription for 60 grams of an ointment and it contains 3 grams of light mineral oil okay the density of the light mineral oil is 0 0.85 grams per milliliter and it gives the density of the finished product to be 0 0.975 grams per milliliter how many milliliters of light mineral oil should be used for this prescription this question is very similar to the example we just did 
the only difference is you should know which components we are talking about here everything we're doing is with the light manual oil so we know the mass of the light manual oil which is 30 grams it is 3 grams actually and the density of your light manual oil which is 0 0.85 okay so with that information we could substitute that into the density relation or density equation and we can solve for our unknown which is our volume once again and that gives us 3.53 milliliters quite easily done okay let's look at this example where we are required again to determine the volume but this time we are given specific gravity okay so from here you should be able to make that real nice connection between specific gravity and volume and you go that by going through density okay so that is basically what this problem is going to illustrate the other important thing you need to know in this example is your weight is given to you in kilograms so it would be a really good idea to convert this to grams we know a thousand grams is one kilogram or one kilogram is a thousand grams so basically it's the same this question is the same as saying what is the volume in milliliters of 1000 grams of sulfuric acid with a specific gravity of 1.83 okay so we can start off by using the specific gravity equation and that we are doing because it allows us to determine the density of the substance the density of water is always 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 one gram per milliliter okay so if we do the substitution we end up having the density of the substance being 1.83 grams it kind of like is a really good trick if you understand the mechanics of how this thing works that your density whenever you're giving specific gravity as long as the reference is to water or with water your density is always going to end up having the same numeric value as your specific gravity the only difference is this time it has units specific gravity is dimensionless no units density has units units of grams per milliliter for example okay so now we have our density from here we can use the density equation to determine the volume because we know the mass we know the density it's easy to determine the volume okay so we have we substitute in the information you have 1.83 grams per milliliter that we just found from there and we can solve for our unknown which ends up being 546.448 milliliters so we had a really nice flavor of density how it works why you need it and how you connect the specific gravity information to determine for example mass by going through density now it's important you understand this and be able to apply it so you could apply concepts of density when you talk about your percentage strengths because the percentage strengths you will need your mass your volume see how you can really create a nice network or mesh of information which is really um, coordinated rather than fragmented okay so if you have any questions once again please stop by my office or send me an email it's mdanqua at csu.edu m-d-a-n as in nancy q-u-a-h at csu.edu have fun guys, this is real exciting, I'll see you again sometime.